Isaiah chapter 3 from the authorized version of the scriptures. Isaiah chapter 3 verses 9 on to verse 11 in Isaiah chapter 3. Verses 9 on to 11. Please follow me along. The shoe of their countenance doth witness against them. Countenance, their body, the body language, if you will. Okay. Remember, visage is the face, countenance is the body. Okay. The shoe of their countenance doth witness against them. And, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him. For they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hand shall be given him. And Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 under verse 23. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are that are wise in their own eyes, and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to mingle strong drink, which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Which justify the wicked for reward, and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Isn't it astounding isn't it astounding of how sexual perversion is so promoted today? Sodomy is not evil, according to the world. And those out there who are sodomites declare their sin openly. Their pro <laughs> Gay pride. They declare their sin as Sodom. They boast in it. They revel in it. They're proud of it. They call good evil and evil good. And there is none good but one. That is who? God. And see, Satan and his religion, Roman Catholicism, the Roman Catholic Church, and all her daughters and her main army, the Jesuit order, are all about keeping you in sin and promoting sin, flesh. For that's all Catholicism is about, the religion of the devil, who savoreth not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men, flesh, flesh. See, Satan wants to give unto man what his evil heart desires. Sin. Sin. Man desires sin. We can prove this by going to Genesis chapter 6. You are expected to follow me along. Genesis chapter 6. I'll get there. Genesis chapter 6. Verse 5, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart 
was only evil continually. Now, I addressed this in the previous video, so we're not going to um, uh, harbor long on it. But the heart is evil, desperately wicked. And Satan knows this. And hence, Satan wants to provide for man every distraction and everything to take him away from going on to the Lord Jesus Christ. And how does he do that? Through perversion. Through television. Television. You know, my wife and I were went to the store yesterday to get a few things. And uh, when, when my wife and I are out, see, my wife's a lady, see. My wife dresses in modest apparel. Okay? She wears dresses. She wears skirts. She covers up. Okay? Because she's my flesh. She is mine. And I am hers. And when, when we're out, I, you know, dis, you know, despite looking at what we need to get, I usually tend to keep my eyes on my wife. <laughs> she knows, too. Because what, what happens? I'll give you an example. When we were out recently, looking around, and these women, I only saw one lady out of, what, maybe a hundred women that I saw. I only saw one lady, my wife. My wife. But these women out there were wearing those disgusting little short shorts. You know what I'm talking about. And those sausage wrapper pants, it's... Ugh. Absolutely revolting and disgusting. You look at advertisements and you see flashly things and these young looking models. Sex. Perversion is the promotion of the devil. Satan. That's why when I uh, go to um, Psalm 109, uh, 101, please. Psalm 101, just one verse. Uh, you know this, you know this, you ought to know this. Psalm 101, verse 3. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. It shall not cleave to me. Hence, pornography. And pornography, you watch pornography, it just mess, messes with your mind. Why? Because it cleaves to you. I used to be addicted to pornography too, as a lost man. And remember too, before the Lord saved me, before I came to him on his terms, broken and contrite, and had <laughs> was terrified of him, the Lord scared the hell out of me, okay? I was a sodomite myself. I was. I used to be a sodomite. Okay? But see, watching pornography programs your mind. And you, as a man, watching pornography, pornography programs you to undress women as you look at them. And is it any surprise that fashion, at least here, I'm, I'm speaking in Amer of America, okay? Is it any surprise that today, what, what are women wearing? Sausage wrapper pants, warm weather, disgusting shorts, low cut, showing off flesh. And you know what's even more revolting? Is that that is being passed down to the children. The scriptures say, Proverbs chapter 22. Proverbs chapter 22. Verse 6. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when it is old, when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now see, that works both ways. 
You bring up a child in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. But there again, you bring up a child in the nurture and admonition of the devil and of this world. And the media and the propaganda and all the advertisements all run by the Jesuit order. The Jesuit order, the military arm of Roman Catholicism. Roman Catholicism, Satan's religion and church. Okay? And is it any wonder that the owners of these pornography sites, a majority of them, are linked onto Jesuits? Surprise, surprise. But perversion goes younger and goes after the children. Because what is the mantra today? Thin is in. Youth is king. Look at the newscaster ladies. No, excuse me. Women. They ain't ladies. You look at them. Low cut things, makeup, painted barns. Satan is telling people what is beautiful. What does the Lord think of beauty? What does the Lord think of beauty? Proverbs chapter 31, verse 31, uh, 30 on to verse 31. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her. But see, the Jesuits instituted this psychological, pro, um, psychological operation. Destroy the economies. Lock everybody in their homes. And what happened during the psychological operation, the first part of it? The second one is coming. Okay? What happened? Close, their, uh, close down their jobs. Take them away from the workplace. Lock them in their homes over the worst plague in all the history of man. What happened? You can look this up yourself. Pornography viewing went through the roof. It skyrocketed. And see, through the media, through propaganda, they're being trained. They're being trained to get younger and younger and younger and younger. Um, a dear sister... Uh, and I can't find the link, um, brought up the thing about uh, sick mind Freud and his offspring. One of his offspring wrote a book called Propaganda. Uh, Netflix is directly linked to sick mind Freud. Sick mind Freud, who was a pedophile himself. Some of the quotes that sick mind Freud wrote about pedophilia just will make you vomit. And hence, that's what Satan is targeting. Making, wanting people to turn their perversion onto the children. And the, and the children pay a heavy price. Turn to Matthew chapter 18. Like it is said by many, the nature of perversion goes younger and younger. And like I said, with what is accepted as normal today, is it any wonder why pedophilia is on the rise? And then, oh, look at the Roman Catholic Church Satan's church, which is the Baalite religion. Hmm. With all the pedophilia and the child raping that goes on in the Roman Catholic Church. Oh, but remember, they're Christians. Yeah. 
Yeah, and this happens also in some of the Baptist stuff, too. Um, uh, Brother Brian, he did that whole thing on that the disgusting devil. Who's frying in hell right now? That uh, jerk Hiles. Okay? Same thing. Sexual perversion with children. And just like Mystery Babylon, Roman Catholicism, Satan's church, what happens when they get known? Do they hand them over? No. Sometimes they do, yes, but most of the time, especially with Catholicism, these pedophile priests, what do they do? They move them. They move them. Her ways are movable. And the children are the ones that pay the price for this disgusting, vile evil that is becoming the norm today. Matthew chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18. We are going to be reading verses 1 on to verse 14. Follow me along. At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Kingdom of heaven. Remember, the kingdom of heaven is talking about the physical, literal kingdom located in Jerusalem, where our Lord Jesus Christ, God who is our Father, is going to rule and reign for a thousand years. Okay? Kingdom of heaven is an actual kingdom. Okay? With a king, our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now you got to remember too, this is before the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is still doctrinally in the Old Testament. Okay? He was the lamb offering the kingdom of heaven unto the Jewish people. Okay? But unless you be converted and become as little children, doesn't mean goo-goo, no. It means dependent upon their father. A child is dependent upon their father and mother. We, as the church of the living God, we are dependent upon our father. He, if you want to, you won't eat unless he lets you eat. You won't breathe unless he lets you breathe. Okay? He is the God of all. Okay? Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same as the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, humble himself as a little child, being dependent on your father, not yourself, not your own flesh. And whoso shall receive one such little one at and whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receiveth me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Better that a millstone were hanged around your neck and uh, cast into the sea. Pedophile. Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom, that, by whom the offense cometh. Wherefore, if thy hand or foot offend thee, cut them off and cast them from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life, halt, or maim, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of those who uh, turn aside. It shall not cleave unto me. You got a problem with pornography, buddy. You better. You, like many have said, you need to you need to step up and take dramatic action. If you gotta take a hatchet and smash your computer. If you gotta 
uh, throw your, your cell phone down a chasm or something. You need to take drastic action. And our Lord is not talking about you may mean. No. Putting those things away that are evil. That's what he's talking about. Separating yourself from that which is evil. And, oh, and, that, and they're telling you that evil is good. Aren't they? And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. What are you looking at? Are you setting wicked things before your eyes? Are you, your hand touching things they shouldn't go, uh, touch? Are your feet taking you places where they, uh, it shouldn't take you? Repent. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. You disgusting pedophiles who lust after children and rob them of their innocence. <laughs> you despise them all over your lust, which Satan is feeding. There's nothing more abhorrent than one that hurts and abuses a child. Even some of these devils out there hate these types. Here in America, and I'm sure in other places uh, in the world, in prisons, jails, those who harm children are especially popular amongst the um, people in prisons. Hardened criminals don't necessarily care for pedophiles and those who hurt children. And that's coming from their own. But yet the devil is promoting, is promoting it. And the ones who are promoting it are the Jesuit order. Monsters. Some of you be like, what's a Jesuit? Don't worry, I'll, I'll put a link in the description box. Okay? Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. This right here, this verse, is very, uh, gives us good evidence that a child that does not know better, a child that uh, is unaware that their angels behold, what? The face of my Father which is in heaven. So a child who is not aware of the truth, is not aware of our Lord Jesus Christ, Usually, the, what the, is said is before the age of accountability. This is, um, this is good evidence that suggests that a child that dies before that age of accountability, where they, are, uh, they understand sin, that they understand that there is a God, okay? And see, with evolution, Satan comes in and tries to rob that of the children. See, if you're an evolutionist and if you believe in evolution, by the way, you're an idiot. But see, if you're an evolutionist and you're teaching your children that, take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. You're despising your own children if you're teaching them, allowing them to learn of evolution, which is a lie. And think about it too. I know mothers who dress as whores with those disgusting sauce, uh, sausage wrapper sh pants and those short shorts, and that bleeds down onto their little girls, their children.
We, my wife and I, we have seen 11-year-old children, little girls, dressing in those disgusting short shorts and looking like little whores themselves because that's what mommy's doing and their father. As profane as anything else. You parents out there that allow your children to look like whores, God have mercy on you. Because see, what is, what's happening there? Evil is good, and good is evil. And you, Church of the Living God, you go up to these parents. Woe be to you. Look at, look at your daughter. Look what you're teaching her. You're the bad guy. You're the evil one because you're telling them, hey, <laughs> a woman is supposed to dress in modest apparel. You're not supposed to advertise. Why? Because you hang out a piece of meat, you're going to attract what? Dogs. And hence, through pornography, through the media. Woman, which means of man, is being equated as nothing but an ob object, a piece of meat to fulfill lust. Woe be to you. Woe be to all you pedophiles out there. And those of you who promote it. Roman Catholicism, the Jesuits. I, I, somewhere I have a link that shows that these porn sites are linked onto the Jesuit order. If I can find it, I'll link it. If any of you have that uh, information, put it in the uh, comments and they will be uh, pinned, okay? Verse 11, for the Son of Man has come to save that which, is lost, which was lost. How think ye, if a man have an hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which has gone astray? And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. And you monsters, you monsters who prey on children and rob them of their innocence because you're introducing to them sin. Your damnation is just. Go to Romans. Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1, verses 18. On to the close of the chapter. We've gone through this before. But we're going to go through it again. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has shewed it unto them. You look outside your door, you look at the leaf of a tree, you look at the change of seasons. Okay, look at the earth. The evidence of God and his creation is right there. But no, you believe in evolution. You're destroying the children. S schools. Jesuit-run schools. Public, private. 
There are those of you, well, not all schools are Jesuit, Brad. Uh, give me a break. The job of the Jesuit order is to infiltrate. Okay? You're a fool. You're a fool and an idiot. If you think that in these public schools there are no Jesuits there, that the Jesuits are not involved, you're an idiot. An idiot is one who is void of logic and reason. Okay? And you're foolish. The fool has said in his heart there is no God. For the invisible things of him that from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. You're without excuse if you think this is... <laughs> millions and millions of years ago in a galaxy far, far away, nothing exploded. And from nothing over millions and millions of years, water and out of the water came a little sniveling piece of snot that over millions and billions of years evolved into a monkey. And monkey from monkey evolved man. If you're, you truly believe evolution holds merit, you have got to be the biggest idiot on the face of the earth. You, you really do. You really are. You are. You're an idiot. And that's being polite. Looking at all of this and going through your life denying the Lord, you're without excuse, buddy boy. Because that when they knew God, just here, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain, empty, hollow, useless in their imaginations and their foolish Fool has said in his heart there is no God. To be foolish is to live, act, behave, think as if there is no God. And their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. And hence, Satan savors not the things that be of God, but the things that be of man. Man is of the earth. Okay? We were made out of dirt. You see this? This is going to corrupt. This is going to decay. S uh, flesh is sinful. Okay? Sin has been condemned in the flesh. Okay? So, and change the glory of the uncorruptible God. God cannot be corrupted. Into an image made like to corruptible man. Man corrupts in the grave. He corrupts, okay? And to birds, the third member of the satanic Catholic Trinity, the Trinity, satanic, the Trinity that teaches one God uh, and three divine persons. A person is what? A spirit, soul, and body? And to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Perversion. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. And thus, thus, 
pornography, worshiping flesh, worshiping the creature. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And as I said, it gets younger, 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 younger. Apparently in Czechoslovakia, if I mispronounce that, sorry, um, child pornography is rampant and perhaps uh, it may, uh, like it's real rampant over there apparently and also here in America as well and that's what's being promoted Does, doesn't this strike you odd as people the older they get they seem to want they want to get even younger they want to hold on to their youth childhood and youth are vanity why is that? When the scripture says that the beauty of the age is the gray head. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. See, when you worship flesh, when flesh is your arm, God gives it over. He's like, go ahead. Careful what you wish for. And very interesting, too, about verse 26. You know in the book of Leviticus where it says, man shall not lay with mankind, it is an abomination? I have had a female sodomite, referred to as a lesbian, actually say, knew what it said in Leviticus and cut me off. It, said, it says, man shall not lay with man. It doesn't say anything about woman. <laughs> yeah, I've run into that. The, the teaching in Leviticus is, yeah, man doesn't lay with man. Woman doesn't lay with woman. But it doesn't say that, right? Absurd. Absurd. Remember, what does woman mean? Tells you in the scriptures, in Genesis chapter 2, woman means what? Of man. So you're not to lay with your own, like, man with man, woman with woman. But none, nonetheless, uh, these female sodomites can't get away from this. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Female sodomites, lesbians. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, of man, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. Disease. memories, which is a consequence that I, to this day, struggle with. Memories. They're the worst. Because like I said, the Lord, when he saved me, he delivered me from sodomy. He saved me from that. But to this day, memories. Memories. Sometimes the memories get so bad, it would, it would be preferable to have died from disease rather than sometimes these memories come up from nowhere, which are the worst. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Now, there are those of the uh, uh, IFB that teach the reprobate doctrine that someone can, you know, like sodomites and lesbians, can't be saved. 
Lord save me. But when that comes, but when it turns to adults going after children, this is a, this is a special place in hell for you, you pedophiles. There really is. There is a place, a special place in hell for you, I believe, for you wicked pedophiles. All the Jesuit ped uh, pedophile priests and these Baptist priests. Well, watch, uh, watch that um, that thing that Brother Brian did about the truth about Jack Hiles. All sexual perversion. Because it was all about flesh. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. And see, Satan through his religion and all her daughters the modern Christians of today and their church buildings. Easy believism. Just believe without a changed life, without brokenness or contrition, calling upon the name of the Lord. They really don't like that calling upon the name of the Lord. Because, see, it is the ultimate shoe of humility. The lesser calling upon the greater. And see, easy believism hates that. Easy believism is this, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. And pedophilia today is being pushed through media through advertising, becoming acceptable. Woe be to you. But I want to share something with you now. I want to share with you something that a sister sent me who um, gave me permission to share this with you. This sister, um, who I will not name, I will, I, I'm not going to name her, but this sister, um, well, to those who abuse children and people, especially sexually. Your damnations are just, and the Lord's judgment is true. There are many forms of abuse that children go through, and the reason you harm them is that they're the closest thing to God, like we just kind of looked at in Matthew. They're innocent, but you want to take that from them, your monsters. You are your monsters going after a little child, defiling them, robbing them of their innocence. Got to grow up quick after what you've done to them. The children who suffer by your hands, you take from their childhood. 
You make them wish they were dead, and some do die by your hands, your doings. At least those who die young, those get to be with the Lord, away from all the pain and suffering you inflicted onto them. Many have to grow up and move forward. Many have to grow up and move forward, while many fall to the wayside into wicked actions, fornication, sodomy, etc. And or abominable works, harming others, children, animals, sodomy, etc. Some, well, because of genuine love from another, they turn out better, but still lonely, especially those who cannot speak up or are silenced. Like some of the stuff that those devils from the Jack, uh, Jerk Hiles cult did to some of these people. Absolutely wicked and disgusting. However, they still make it out alive, and few come to the Lord for healing. I am grateful I got the healing I needed, but I hoped more, more I but I hoped many more sought the Lord, for only He can heal the pain. Amen, sister. The only answer is the Lord Jesus Christ. The only answer is the Lord Jesus Christ. The suffering, the wanting to die, everything that comes from having your, our childhood stolen from evil monsters, only God can fix us, heal us, mend our hearts and souls. Amen. Amen. Yet don't worry. Those who harm children get their due. Eternity in hell. Weeping and gnashing of teeth. While many children are with the Lord already, and few others like me, where, where we keep pushing forward, with joy in our hearts, only because of the Lord God healed us. Yet, of course, there is still sadness too. You know, very quickly, where as to this day, saved of the Lord 13 years, to this day, I still get those memories as when, from uh, when I was a sodomite. I can only, I can only imagine some of the memories that some of these survivors who actually come to the Lord and he saved them still deal with the memories. Sorry. I, I shared this with my wife. We, we read this and we were both in tears first time we read this. But not because of what happened to us, but because of what happens to the children still today. We know the pain they feel, the suffering, how they just want to die. For even if some could speak to get away from, be, from pretending everything is okay, they'd still be tormented, if not targeted, too. It is sad to know how many children are still being abused, harmed, assaulted, raped, killed, by the hands of monsters and promoted by the Jesuits. And the thing people don't like to take note of is that most of the monsters are just perverts. Yeah. Most monsters were or are porn addicts, like my abuser was. And again, what does porn do? Trains your mind to look at women as mere pieces of meat, objects. And look at the media, younger and younger, going younger and younger and younger. And 
look what, and look, oh, here in America, the women dressing like whores and allowing their children to do the same because evil is good and good is evil. And there are those of you deluded idiots in my nation thinking that America can be great again. You're insane. America would have to would be, look at the abortion. Ish, now look at the abortion problem here. Legalize murder. Look at the pornography epidemic. Look at the pedophilia. Look at the advertising. Look at the television. No, don't. But you know, just as in, you know, look at what they promote. And is it any coincidence that all these companies tie back to the Jesuit order? You figure that one out. No, America's done. It's just because of the Church of the Living God in this nation. I believe that the judgment is being stayed because those of us who are out there and, oh, and there are so many of you, so many of you of the Church of the Living God doing what the Lord would have you to do. Let me finish this. Most monsters were or are porn addicts, like my abuser was. He was never harmed nor hurt, and I have a feeling I wasn't his first victim. And you're probably right. But one thing is for sure, since he was at least 13, he looked at porn. A lot of people don't want to talk about it. But most monsters, 50-50, are those without painful events in their lives. Incredible. Incredible. And that and that's it. That's it. Thank you, sister, for sharing that with me. And thank you, sister, for um, giving me your permission to share that. And how far is this going to go? It's just going to keep getting worse and worse, especially here in my nation. Luke, chapter 13. And we will end it here. Luke, chapter 13, verses 1, on to verse 5. There were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, nay. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them, Think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, nay. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Our judgment here in America is that we're going to have a woman president. We have a woman president, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris's judgment against America. And when other nations get wind or see that Kamala Harris is our president, 
that's just going to be the tipping point for other nations to finally go berserk against us Americans. Because we here in American Brethren, my countrymen, a lot of the world hate us. And rightfully so. I was talking to a brother the, uh, the other day, and uh, this lovely brother of mine, he was just saying, he was saying to, he was, he was, he was tiptoeing, he was trying to be polite when talking about America. And he's like, you know, I'm sorry. It's like, no, brother, it's okay. It's okay. We who are in America of the Church of the Living God, we get it. We get it. But no, you got twits like that Phil Robinson guy. Making, uh, you know, America's going to be great again. And, you know, we get it. What's going to happen? It's just, like I said, it's just going to get worse and worse. Till one day, till one day, you watch, I bet you, one day, pedophilia is going to be legal. Lowering the age. Uh, in some nations, I guess, um, 12 years old, um, once a, a little child gets to 12 years old, some 50-year-old can go ahead and be with them, apparently. It's going to happen here. You say that'll never be, yeah? Once the Jesuits, you know, get smoking Joe out the way, he's just a front man. Kamala Harris is running the show. Kamala Harris is our president here in America, unfortunately, for judgment. Through peace, going to destroy many. <laughs> you watch. It's going to keep getting worse and worse. And those of you who have been through this, I have been through what this dear sister has been through. Your only hope is the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't go to the institution that fed the people who hurt you. No. You go outside of that to our Lord Jesus Christ. God our Father. It's going to be it for this video. Again, thank you, sister, for sharing this. Um, yeah. Even so, come Lord Jesus. It's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching this if you do. We'll see you in the next video.